the ministry of the blood of Jesus Christ. Tulikuwa na part 1 in second service. Na tukaona damu ya Kristo kitu kimoja itakufanyia it will shelter you. It will shelter you. Na Bible nasema Mungu alipo nena kure Egypt. Alisema katika Exodus 12:13, na hiyo damu kwenu itakuwa ishara. Amen. Wakati wa wote ninapopiga Egypt, nikiona I'll pass over. Let the blood of Christ you can put it as a green ili wana wako wako you can just read it. Now the blood shall be assigned for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood I will pass over you and the plague shall not shall not be on you to destroy you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Please let the blood of Jesus cover your house. It's talking about on the houses where you are. Hiyo damu inene na ipakwe huko. Now, job of pili that the blood you do is atonement. Sema ni atonement. Atonement ni kitu kinacho kupatanisha. There is, let me say something. Is that me end? Praise God. Do you know my field? Let me give you a key. Fungu, eh? Do you know na feel ukiwa kwa barabara ukiwa kwa nyumba sometimes ukiomba unasikia mambo iko dry sana eh ni kama connection ni kama hakuna sio kuaguka lakini unasikia tu uko dry ni kweli let me something blood of christ uki speak damu ya yesu juu yako utasikia umepatanishwa na mungu normally kuna jeshi la mapepo hukaa katika anga ili kutenganisha watu na kilichaenzi na ukinena damu ya Yesu sana those demons zinaondoka hasa ukiomba if you speak the blood of Christ those powers give way two things you happen wakati damu ya Kristo inanena katika anga yako kitu cha kwanza demons give way kitu cha pili unaanza kusikia flow ya power. Munakumuka Joseph, Jacob, aliona maraika wanapanda wakiteremka. The ministry unasikia kuna kitu kinakutoka kinafika na kuna nguvu inatoka kule inakufikia. Na hapo ndipo utashagaa huduma yako itazaliwa kama kuna kitu liko nataka kuombea na pia utapata position ya kufauru. Use the blood ikupatanishe. Bwana ailewe sana. Jambo lingine ni kwamba pia inapatanisha mambo yako. The blood of Christ can connect your business with God. How is it connect biashara yako, family chochote hata safari na Mungu kama hakuna damu ya Kristo ya atonement. Atonement ni kupatanishwa. Bwana wa milele awabariki. Jambo la tatu liberating liberating ni mtu kutolewa katika hali ya utumwa hali sasa hawa si kuokoka kutolewa katika hali ya utumwa unapanda unaingizwa katika hali ya utukufu liberation involves conditions and that's why ukisoma zakaria 9 verse 11 inasema inasema hivi Zakaria chapter 9 verse 11 the bible talks deliverance from a condition let's, let's read it inasema as for you also because of the blood of your covenant i will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit i'll set your prisoners free from the waterless pit waterless pit ni mahali mtu anagojawa akufe ni mahali mtu ambaye kwa sababu huwezi toka na hakuna maji walio kutuma hata kama hawatakupiga they know you die so to be liberated ni kutolewa kwa hali abazo ni za utumwa na kifo upeleka pali pengine the third thing another thing that the blood you do the blood 
the blood the blood will do other things let's see something damu ya kristo damu ya kristo itakuteganisha na what we call inherited corruption katika families na katika maisha kuna hii mambo mnasikiaga mambo ya kurivi katika hali ya damu na ukoo tukisoma kitabu cha pita kitabu cha pita first peter chapter 1 petero wa kwanza first peter fungua first peter chapter 1 verse 18 First Peter chapter 1 verse 18 Inasema hivi verse chapter 18 Knowing that you are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless codish conduct aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers Do you hear this? Can we together? Can you read this part? Say my aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers. Now, kuna connection here ambao inaitwa aimless conduct. What is aimless conduct? Ni maisha yasiyo na malengo na maisha ambao you are not responsible na maisha ambao ukiishi baada ya wakati kwa wakati uchukue stock taking utapata kwamba unaenda round 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 inaitwa aimless conduct received from by the tradition from your fathers hii kitu watu wana ignore Let me tell the truth unless kutoke kwa family mtu ambaye ana imani mtu ambaye ana imani tofauti ana imani revolutionary imani ambao ni tofauti kabisa family aimless conduct never changes hai badriki You know I remember my mama kaniambia hivi yeye malezi yake aliamini hakuna mkristo aezaloa hiyo hata hakuwa naombea na kuna kadha kaniambia atakuwa kitchen anaona huku nje kwa nyumba yetu kuna watu wanatembea akiwa uchi hiyo hata haobei aliamini atuwezi roa na kadeta hiyo unless kwa family kutokee mtu aseme 1975 in this church Bishop Musa his church was so poor ilikuwa ni kanisa wa madhina aliita mabishop akasema umaskini ni pepo ni mume wa huyu huyu alikuweka eno eno alikuende 1975 ndio ulikuwa na unaingia akasema tushikane mikono hii umaskini ni pepo na kalia machozi kwa nguvu let me tell the truth walio shikana mikono na wa, na yeye they are all very rich those who dared wali dare kuita umaskini kanisani demon na wakasimamisha ukweli kama kuna mtu in a family atatoke because his kitu kinaitwa aimless conduct who are very powerful kwa maana iko kwa damu Unakuta tu ato kijaribu kubadrika you just resemble your grandfather aliyekuwa na rara sana Ukijaribu kwenda pali wewe ni watchman Ukienda America unakuta you are watchman in America the only change imetokea ni kwenda ngabo na kitu kikuchunguza unachuka factory This is strong but the blood of Jesus ukitokea vizuri na damu ya Yesu Kristo the blood of Christ can destroy the aimless conduct 
inherited from our fathers. And tonight, Nataka owe tofauti. I say, I would like you to dare. Useme, kuna kitu ambacho is so common in our family. Na wale tumezaliwa now. Na nigetaka damu ya Kristo izae a totally new thing. I want to destroy the aimless conduct inherited from our fathers. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Katika jina la Yesu. Naomba in this church. Kuzaliwe mutu wa ikanisa. Wewe umeakita your family. You produce another generation. Hala mashete masoka. Reke baba sakota baba shanda. The blood of Jesus makes you qualified. Atakama. Atakama unajidharao sana. Kama dami ya kristo itaanza kazi. Hakuna mali utaenda. Salimieni. Wale husikia wezi kuwa CEO. Na wa badami ya isu kuingie. Uwanza new feelings. I said the blood of Christ take over. And change your feelings. The blood of Christ you itakufanya usikia kabisa. I'm qualified. I'm qualified to own that car. I'm qualified kuishi anywhere in this world. Bereni damu ya uko ilikufanya wakawaida. But the blood of Christ will speak great things. Oh, hallelujah. Time has come. Nizikia ushud hapa. Somebody saying, I surrendered myself to the blood of Jesus and it spoke a new thing. Liberation 7.14 You dear Musha Shasa because of time. Ufunua saba kumina ine. I hope you are there. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Bible na sema hivi. And I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are the ones who come out of great tribulation, washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Who are these? This is a question. Ambaye meurizwa na mtu ambaye You see <laughs> Jesus You see Katika maono John Aliona maelfu Na maelfu Na maelfu Ya wateule Wamevago sa white Wanashangilia Wamekutanika bere za buwana And they are so blessed Akauliza I am there who are these? Akaba, the blood of the Lord, the blood of Christ made them qualified. That's why forever they stand before the throne. Hallelujah. Atakama si hu wakati huo. Nataka leo katika ulimwengu wa roho. Uonekane umeenda bari. And somebody will answer the question. Ni mna waombea sana. Unavyo uko sasa? Eh? Kuna vile utasimama wapendwa kuulizana who is he? And I would like to give an answer that day. I would like to give an answer. Ako hivyo kwa maana damu ya mwana kodoo ilimwosha na ikampa kibali kwa mambo ambao hangefikiria. Umesimama bere ya umati. Umesimama kwa mambo ambao uge afikiria. Lakini kuna impartation on your mind. The blood of Jesus Christ. Imenifanya nisikia kwamba. I'm worthy. What I never felt I could get. Na leo nataka tubadrike. So many sasa. Let's start. Kuoshwa. Kwa damu. Ituta. Kaza yo. Yakodo Ziwe Safi Guonye Upe Mno Ume Oshwa Kwa Damu Ya Mama Ume Tukuka Tua Kueshimu Hakuna Mwana 
mwingine kama wewe wewe Mungu baba yangu na kuinua na kwa baba katika jina la Yesu Tusimama hapa na ukweli wa kwamba Kristo ameshinda kifo hata sasa. We are standing here with the truth that cannot be disputed that Jesus overcame death. Jesus overcame death. Na kwa maana kuna ushiti na usafi na kufauru katika ufufuo huu. Baba achilia nguvu zako leo. Just as the tomb kama vile Kuri ilifunguka na ikawa tupu na sehemu ya kaburi ikawa hakuna maiti now we are declaring the glory of the resurrection day kwamba something will happen in this church nikataka ndio mikono yako sasa upokee utukufu na nguvu za ushindi wa Yesu msalabani ondoa kila matope ya giza jiwe lililowekwa juu ya kaburi Jesus of Akami of Akebet just worship the Lord apia bwana akurehemu jitakase kwa damu ya Yesu jitakase mwambie Mungu nataka kukubarika mbele zako kwa damu ya mwana kodoo asante bwana ongea namu kabisa just talk with God deeply and seriously the Lord you bless you the Lord you anoint you the Lord you prove his name in your life in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah the lord is so good tunakoje ashes 